Assalamu alaikum. My name is Madhya Essen Sharif and I'm from Gas Public School 1. Today I'm here with the first lecture of English language and that is for class 7th. Here we have syllabus of first term that includes the topic passive speech, present tenses with their translation, synonyms and antonyms, forms of words, applications, letters. So our first topic of the syllabus is parts of speech. So let's begin with parts of speech. There are eight parts of speech in English language. They are noun, verb, pronoun, adjective, adverb, preposition, conjunctions, interjection. So the question arises, what is a part of a speech? Part of a speech indicates how the word functions in meaning as well as grammatically within the sentence. An individual word can function as more than one part of a speech when used in different circumstances. Well, a part of a speech is just a name given to a word based on the job that it does in a sentence. Without knowing part of the speech, you cannot form a sentence that is grammatically correct. Understanding part of the speech is essential for determining the correct definition of a word when using the dictionary. So understanding of part of the speech is really important to know the correct definition of word that what part of the speech it belongs to especially when you are using dictionary. So let's begin with the first part of a speech, noun. Noun are the naming words, name of a person, place, thing, feeling, quality, etc. Let's see the example. Anita went to the market. Anita here is a noun. Went to the market. Market is a name of a place, market. So therefore, it is a Noun. Now, noun has two main kinds, that is proper and common. So, the girl has her specific name, Anita. Therefore, it is lying in the category of proper and noun. Whereas, market, it has no such name mentioned. So, it is common noun. So, noun are the naming words. Okay, now we have here number two. Pronoun, noun replacers. They are used in the place of noun. Pro means in the place of. So they are used in the place of noun to avoid the repetition of a noun, noun in a sentence. Here you see the example. Ali is intelligent. He is curious too. See, to avoid the repetition of a name, I use the example. He, uh, I use the pronoun he. He is a pronoun used for masculine gender. Where there is another example, she is honest. She is also a pronoun and that is used to replace a noun of a feminine name. Adjectives. Qualify a noun or a pronoun. That describes noun or a pronoun. Adjectives are describing words. It tells us something about a noun. It qualifies. Let's see the examples. They live in a beautiful house. Here you see house is a noun. So how is the house that is describing a noun house here? Beautiful. So therefore beautiful in this sentence is an adjective qualifying a noun house. Jane is an adorable baby. So adorable is a describing word that is describing a noun, baby. So adjectives are describing words that describes noun or a pronoun. Verb here, fourth one, action word, state event, state of being be, is and are present, was verb past. The verb is a word or a group of words that shows what someone or something does or what state someone or something is in. 
In short, a verb indicates an action, an event, or a state. For example, she laughs a lot. Here, it is indicating an action. The bomb bursts in the marketplace. Burst here is a verb indicating an event. She is in she is in miserable condition. Here it is telling the state. So verb are the action words that indicates action of course an event or a state. Review of today's lecture. In today's lecture we discussed four parts of speech. These are noun, pronoun, adjective, verb. Noun are the naming words. Pronoun that is used in the place of a noun. Adjective that describes the above part of the speech, noun or pronoun. It does uh, it adds to the meaning of noun or pronoun. Verb. Verb is a group of words that shows an action, an event, or a state. 